All right, guys, we're back. I'm just going to work queso a little bit. But you know, I want you to understand, you're not going to be able to do any of this if you don't have a puppy that will come to you. So that should be what people are actively working on from day one. Not rubbing its head, not playing tug of war, not doing all these things. You should be focusing on... Hi, Sonia. You should be focusing on a dog that comes to you, understanding that if it won't do that, you're never going to get anywhere, ever. The dog has got to be able to work away from the handler. So I'm just going to do all the phones today. He's not my money dog. He doesn't, he doesn't like money. He likes phones. Oh, you see, this is why I have to have a dog then. All right, so I'm going to do my locations far away. I'm not going to put anything there. I'm going to just, it's going to be short or long. And he does, he needs stuff hidden a little bit better. It's hidden too easy. keys in there and then the basket can be nothing can be out in the open if he sees it right away then that's not good all right this will kind of be behind here oh here's one more phone you know what i'm saying to myself if the dog won't come to it, you're not going to be able to do any of this. Oh, you're going to love this puppy, Sonia. Hang on. He's super, super cute. All right, so... I didn't just put three, and this will be three in the same spot to help the dog travel. You know, and I think maybe they should always think there's a point beyond that point. That you would always add a point beyond that point. All right, let me grab him. So for this, I do think the handlers we saved the keys on that. He tried to Jenga. That's something new. That's my new invention, Jenga dog. super subtle recall to get him to travel back to me. He wants to travel down to that. Oh, shh. Ah! Ay, ay, ay. He might get him out of there. He comes from a long line of diving dogs. He's getting ready to run to that wagon. <laughs> Yay! Yay! He, he knows 
Use those keys are somewhere. You just don't want to Sure, all your stuff is broken, but still. All right, he's going to have to travel down there one more time. He's still not sure what happened to those keys. I'm going to fish them out. All right, my job is to get him to travel to that wagon by being a bird dog. trajectory. If you said, how would you change it if you wanted him to go there? I'd sit right there. All right, he's got to go back for the basket. I'm going to fish those keys out when, and put them someplace else. I'm sure, uh-oh. I'm sure uh, maybe there are people that teach him to fetch stuff. That girl Sylvie does it. She Her, uh, her dog goes under the water. All right, my job is just to look at that basket. just looks like You know, and that's what you got to say. Your job is to get them to beat you back there by whatever actions that you've got to take, not by ordering them. He may go back and get the basket now. He likes phones, though. My job is to look down there and get the dog to travel. That's, that was the other thing, Lydia, if you're there. Yay! Yay! They have the basket. Um, this is what you don't want to do is tell them to go ahead. The difference would be me saying, go, go down there, go look, go look, go look, go look. You've got to get them to travel away just with your thoughts at first. <laughs> what? That's true. You know, your measure of success as a trainer, it has to do. Hi, Tony. Hi, Candy. You, honestly, you guys need to all just do it without words to start out. If you said I don't have any ability to communicate with anybody without words, I'd say, oh, stop it. 
You know, maybe that's what I should do, a mime class. Would anybody sign up for that? What about a gift certificate, Tony? <laughs> Tony, oh, I got a gift certificate to a mime class. <laughs> you know, it would help you communicate, but, you know, he's basing everything on my actions, you know, not, not because I'm not telling him to do anything. He's just watching my actions. <laughs> ah, so I'll just travel with the keys one time. And I can do it like this. I can make it farther away. Since I, uh, this is already... <laughs> I made it seem like I wasn't getting there, but since he was having to pick them up. But... You know, you, you do have to think of it like that. You know, and if, I, if you said, well, what realm should I be up? You know, if you said, well, I'm thinking of it like kids. I've always worked with kids. Give me an analogy. You know, a, a child that was pre-verbal or semi-verbal, but, you know, maybe two and a half to three-year-old. You know, so you're mixing in a little bit of that, but you're understanding it's your gestures that are helping the dog understand what you want. Oh, he's the bestest little dog in the world. So he's going to say to himself, i got to get a better grip on it. Oh, you little monkey. You know, the same thing like a little kid. I could probably beat him over there, but I'm giving him the idea that he's beating me over there because he's so fast. You know, but if you said, well... You, you're telling him to do... I'm not telling him to do anything. That's what you have to understand. I'm not telling him to do anything. <laughs> Boom. You know, other than, you know... And it gives him a sense of empowerment. I mean... You know, if you said, well, how can you tell when a dog's happy? Oh, they jump around. But then people said, well, I don't want it to jump. Well, okay, so I'm just... So basically you're saying, you know, if there are people like that. They don't want anybody to have a good time. They're no fun. They have a name for those people. No fun. You know, you get them out to a bar. It's like Fun Bobby on Friends once he stopped drinking. He was no fun anymore. <laughs> but, you know, that's if you have to say to yourself, you know, how much fun am I to this dog? Or am I just there... You know, he thinks I'm a major fun. Uh-oh. I did actually drop him by accident. And you have to be ready. You have to be ready. All right, guys. I'm going to be back with... Um, I'll do a good episode. You know, but you guys have to think of that. You've got to work on your recall. If you have nothing else... And I understand people are busy. That's why this training is so great. It's, it's not time-consuming and labor-intensive. The only thing that it requires is you to slightly change your actions, not the dog. Understanding the dog's a reflection of your actions. So if you change your reaction, your reflection will be different. <laughs> it's all very zen-like, Tony. Very zen-like. All right, guys, I will be right back.